Live from the O'Brien Services Stadium Studios, this is the fifth quarter. Welcome back, everyone, into the final fifth quarter of the high school football season. I'm Tanner Barth alongside TJ Spivey. And TJ, can you believe we are already in week two of the playoffs? Seems like we were just starting the high school football season. Yeah, it really does. Um, luckily, uh, no big storms this year, so we were able to get through smooth. <laughs> yep, and you talked about it right there. And, you know, there's a lot of people around the area that had a matchup on their mind in the area tonight, and they were looking forward to it. A rematch of two Eastern Conference teams. So let's go ahead and go out to Legion Stadium, the Class 3 AA playoffs, the number two seed New Hanover Wildcats hosting the number seven seed West Brunswick Trojans. You knew this one was going to be exciting. The Wildcats won the regular season meeting 28 to seven. The Trojans looking for revenge tonight, but it was New Hanover striking first. Check out Chase Nix on the play action, rolls to his white, finds Landon Ferris, the junior, in for the score. Yeah, big score right there. Uh, home playoff game, first person on the score with both of those defenses in good position. Yep, that made it six to nothing. We went into half, six to nothing. New Hanover in the lead. West trying to get it together, but the pass is going to be picked off as Jay Fletcher tries to go downfield, but there's Jacob Jones. And that would turn it over, and New Hanover would turn it into points very quickly. Chase Nixon, his favorite target, JoJo Marshall. Good luck stopping this young man. Yeah, really good defensive battle. New Hanover made a couple plays when they had to. That would make it 14 to nothing in the third. But Brett Hickman squad, you know they wouldn't go down without a fight. Handoff, Samari Brogdon. Looks like he stopped with the jumbo package. JV and McCray carries him in. Yeah, good drive right here by West Brunswick. They really uh, fed this kid about six or eight times in a row. And Touchdown. Yeah, he was able to get it in the end zone, but West would get the football back. Their last chance going for it on fourth in their own territory with just a few minutes left to go in the game. Fletcher's pass falls incomplete, and that would do it. New Hanover would add, as you see right here, another score late, and they're on to the third round with the 21 to 7 over win over West Brunswick. And DJ, I was actually out at Legion Stadium. Let me tell you what, that was one heck of a high school football game. Both these teams smash, smash mouth styles, you know, a defensive battle as you talked about. But tonight, you know, it's New Hanover coming out on top once again. Yeah, just a shame that that was a second round football game. It felt more like a third or even a fourth round playoff football game. And you talked about it, you know, these two teams continuing to battle throughout the, the season. And, you know, then meeting in the second round, both head coaches say, you know, it happens sometimes. But these are two teams, you know, two of the better teams in Class 3 AA. Yeah, absolutely. Both of them have really good defenses. You know, West Brunswick wins 10 games this year. Both of their losses come into New Hanover. And the Wildcats advance. They'll host Grays Creek, the number 14 seed, upset the sixth seed, Southeast Guilford tonight. Well, now let's go back to, you know, this West Brunswick one we talked about. You know, the Trojans, they finished the year 10-2. and two. That's a great year for them, one of their most successful years. In yeah, history. first time with uh, 10 wins in about 20 years, had nine wins a few years ago. But uh, like I said, defensively, one of the best defenses in the area um, all year. Uh, kids competed their butt off. It was really good to see a lot of uh, Trojan support in Wilmington tonight. Yeah, they had a great crowd out at Legion Stadium. Well, let's continue our highlights now and go down Shipyard Boulevard. It's Hoggard hosting Apex Friendship. Tonight, the Hoggard Vikings taking on, as we said, the Patriots. We start this one, 4.48 left to go in the first quarter, and the Vikings strike first. Sam Jones hands it off to Jackson Thomas. No one will bring him down. He's in for the score. Yeah, um, Hogger striking first, like we said, with New Hanover. That's really going to help being at home. Especially in the playoffs. The Patriots, though, with Hogger would bounce back, but here comes Hogger once again. Sam Jones rolling to his right. It's Rex Hardy. You can't see it, but made a great catch. Hogger extends their lead to 28-7 to after the extra point. And they really go, looked good tonight on offense. Yeah, nice little comeback route. That's kind of what Hugger does. Uh, you know, new season here, Tanner, trying to be one another. Yep, nice catch there from Apex Friendship for the touchdown. That would make it 34 to 10 at that point. But, you know, too much, too much Hogger tonight. They would just run it down the throat of the Patriots all night long. A little score there as well, and they could not be stopped. And this one is Amari and Grand gets his first touchdown. And the Vikings, well, they just continue to put it on. Hoggard wins this one 40 to 23, the final score, and a good one between those two. They're on to the third round under head coach Craig Underwood. Let's go out to Random and High School now, and it was a quick start for the Tigers. Check out the unis and check out Naheem Lilly. Picks up a block on the outside. Goodbye. Yeah, nice looking uniforms, even better run by a nice running back right there. Not to go out of bounds. Yeah, the sophomore made it seven to nothing, but East Duplin has a response. It's Brennan Stanton, quarterback straight ahead. We would be tied at the end of the first half, and this was the number one. Yeah, East Duplin, uh, you know, no 
they know what winning's all about. So they go into this game expecting to win. And they would force a turnover with the Panthers on the kickoff in the second half, punch it in for the score as Russell Gabby gets in. But you know, Randleman would not be denied on the ground. It's Lily again, slicing and dicing up the defense, and he gets in for the score. And this Randleman team, you talk about them being a baseball school, but they showed it tonight that they're a good football team as well. Yeah, definitely a baseball school. Uh, having a winning culture it usually carries over to other sports. And Randleman gets the win. They end East Duplin season 29 to 20, the final score. And we take a look, you know, at these two teams and at the games that we've had so far, you know. We go back, Hoggard, they pick up a really great win. They're going to have a tough task, though, as they hit the road to take on Wake Forest next week. Yeah, but right now for Hoggard, you know, you throw the record out the window. They're 1-0 and and in the playoffs on to the third round. They've been there before. You know, a couple years ago, people didn't expect them to be in the fourth round against Scotland, and they're a two-point conversion away from winning that game. Yeah, and we didn't have highlights, but the White Bull Wolfpack, they fall short 40-28. to 28. And, uh, you know, obviously good head, good friends with head coach T.J. Price right there. And uh, J.P., excuse me, <laughs> T.J., I got your mind. You're on my mind. The, and, uh, you know, that's a tough loss for them, but they had a great season as yeah, well. Yeah, and that's a lot closer game than the score. It's 28-28 uh, deep into the fourth quarter, and then uh, they were able to pull away a little bit. Yep, let's go ahead and check out our final scores here once again for you guys from around the area. We talked about it. New Hanover beats West Brunswick 21-7. to It's Hoggard over Apex Friendship 40-23. to Southwest Edgecombe gets the best of White Bowl 40. 28 and Randleman ends East Duplin's season 29 to 20. Well, don't go anywhere. We have much more coming up after the break, including our fifth quarter play of the week.